Alrighty, what's up YouTube everybody? My name is Brian. I figured I've seen a lot of cool videos of people's home labs. Thought I would jump in and do one of my own. Um, personally, I don't think mine's that, that cool, but I think that it all helps to start somewhere. If you wouldn't mind, drop a like, hit the subscribe button if you'd like, and let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at the home lab. Okay, so, if this yellow, this uh, purple cable here goes into the, actually the main network, um, this TP link switch is the one that feeds the lab itself. Um, it's a managed sw switch, so it, I, it does my VLANs and all that fun stuff. Um, I do have it configured as router on a stick for here, for when I don't have all of this running. Um, a little bit about this. This is a 48 port um, PoE Cisco switch. If you're planning on going for a Cisco CCNA or any of the Cisco exams, it's really, in my opinion, helpful to have live equipment. Uh, it helped me anyway. Uh, let me get a, a real sense for what would I actually be doing with it. Um, so typically whenever I'm actually trying to use it in a lab environment, I will run one of these switches to isolate this network because I don't want to mess up my actual network. So going down, just have a drawer, nothing exciting here. If you go down here, you see the checkpoint box. This box right here is not used for anything anymore. It was a PFSense router that I was using learning on PFSense and basic router functions. Below that is the workhorse of this, this lab. This is my Dell server. Let me see if I can get in get it to give you the info there. Alright, and uh, it's running VMware ESXi, so it's my hypervisor. Um, this is awesome for using it as a virtual machine platform. Uh, I just have two different hard drives right here running in a RAID 0 fashion and obviously in a production environment you'd probably want to have some redundancy with it. Once again it's in a lab environment so it's not as important. Uh, and I've ran multiple virtual machines from Windows to Windows servers, Windows 10. Uh, when I was doing my Linux Plus exam it helped tremendously with that because I could actually test it out and make changes and if I broke something I didn't have to redo it completely. Um, going back up here just goes up to the big screen as you can see. Uh, I'm currently logged on to the Windows 10 box. Um, this is a a uh, Raspberry Pi. This is one of the older model ones I believe. Um, it was pretty helpful when I was doing the doing the uh, my uh, Linux Plus exam. Uh, just jumping over to that side, of the, it's just a standard screen and an old uh, Dell Inspiron. Yeah, for what I do, it's, it's worked more than adequate. Alright, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Thanks for looking.